Do you want closed captions and subtitles for your Twitch streams just like this? Well, lucky for you, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it step by step. Closed captions are gonna allow your viewers to watch your stream without needing the audio. So if they're watching in class or they're watching at work when they shouldn't be doing it, they can still understand what you're saying and enjoy the stream. But if you're concerned about your viewers' enjoyment of your live stream, you gotta make sure that you have a nice stream design, right? Owned is the number one marketplace for overlays, alerts, panels, and everything you could possibly need for your Twitch stream. My favorite thing is that they have stream design bestseller packages. So if we click on this synth owner package and go on the second tab here you can see you get everything in this package including starting soon pause screens ending offline you get banners for your twitch channel everything to make sure that you look professional and to make sure that your viewers have the most enjoyable viewing experience so if you guys really care about making sure your viewers have the best experience ever check out the link in the description down below where you can get some of these so if you could just drop a quick like on the video let me show you guys how to get these captions set up right now first thing we need in order to get closed captions for our stream is actually this twitch extension right here i'll leave this linked in the description down below so you can easily find it along with some other streaming gear like the webcam that I'm using to record these videos and some additional streaming help like courses and such so once you've navigated this page and you're logged in with your twitch channel as you can see indicated by the top right corner we need to click on the install button and this will install the twitch extension to our twitch channel so we'll click the install button and then we'll click configure and this will bring us to the configuration page and all we have to do is follow the instructions we have to enable the stream closed captioner as a video overlay which I'll be showing you in just a second we need to visit this website to enable it and then we just log in with our twitch account go to the dashboard and turn it on and then we can change the settings from there so let's click this link right here and log in with our twitch channel brings us to the home page we'll go and click get started then we can click the continue with twitch button up top it'll log in with your twitch account if you haven't already so put your information in there and connect it as you can see we have been successfully authenticated indicated by this green box in the top right corner if you notice it says you do not have the stream closed captioner extension installed so let's quickly do that what we need to do is go back to our twitch page under twitch extensions if we go back to this tab here we can just X this out and then now you can see that we are on our extensions page if you don't know how to get here go to your twitch channel top right corner then you can click on creator dashboard which will be on this list here if you don't see it it's because you're already on the creator dashboard indicated by the top left corner and then you'll just click on the extensions tab here and it'll bring you to discovery tab but then you can click on my extensions at the top now you can see that we have viewer geolocation a couple other ones that I've installed in other videos so make sure to check out the other videos on the channel but the one we're looking for is stream closed captioner right here so we're gonna click activate and we're gonna set it as over overlay one if you have another extension that's activated on overlay one you can only have one overlay so this will replace that extension so we're going to click overlay one we will click done and now you can see under the activated section that it actually says stream closed captioner overlay one so that's all good and great let's go back to the other tab now you can see that warning message has gone away and it's not yelling at us anymore i'm going to go and click caption settings because this is different settings that you can use to make your viewers experience even better which hopefully you've already done by going to own and grabbing a stream design package but you can see that I've enabled additional profanity censoring. So this way, whenever you're talking, the closed captions, if you end up swearing, will just put little asterisks and basically censor you. So you can also have an option that translates your English words to pirate words if you want to go with that route. You can have hide captions by default. So if you don't want people to automatically have them pop up on their stream when they watch you, then you can enable that. I personally like to leave it on because they can just turn it off if they don't want to. This one's really cool. Receive an in-chat reminder to turn on captions after an estimated five minutes of going live. And it'll only send you a message if you forget to turn the captions off. On. So I'm actually going to turn this one on and I will click save. You can also block list words if you want extra words to appear censored in your captions, but I'm done with this page. So let's go to the top left corner and click on dashboard and let's get this puppy started. Click this button down here at the bottom. It says click to start captions. It should pop up here to enable your microphone. But if you didn't get that little like pop up here, then you can actually click this little lock here if you're on Google Chrome and then it can reset the permission. And then now I'm going to enable the microphone, but now you can see it actually popped up. So I'll click allow. And now you can see right here that our captions have booted up really quickly and it's actually repeating the words that I'm saying which is kind of you know wonky to read at the same time now that we know that this is on everything's working great let's actually start up a live stream on twitch so I can show you guys how this works so I have booted up my live stream as you can see on this twitch channel I'm talking and now you can see that the closed captions are working great if you want this is from the viewers experience so this is what your viewers are gonna see so you can actually click and move the captions box around the screen if you want then also you can click on hide CC text so they won't see it if they don't want it and then they have the settings this little gear icon so you can click that and they have a bunch of different options so you can change the text to being small large dyslexia font you can gray out finished text so that way it makes it easier to read as well they give you a lot of settings to mess around with you can just kind of customize it to the way that you want it to watch this video right here it's going to take your stream game to the next level so if you want to be up there with the pros you got to watch this video comment spooky gang down below if you made it all the way to the end of the video and i'll see you next time